This week, I've been thinking about the blessing of hands. Soon after we're born, our little hands begin grabbing onto the nearest finger to hang on to. As we grow a little older, they are the tastiest things we discover, and soon we are getting them into all sorts of things to add a little additional flavor. It's not long before we learn to put real food in our mouth with those tiny hands, to pat our mama's face, to pull hair and dog's ears. A brief time later, we can bang on a piano or the closest pots and pans, pull up flowers to present to the people we love, and hold hands in the sweetest manner. Next thing you know, those hands can write and color within the lines. They can trace words and occasionally inappropriately slap or hit as they learn to interact with others. They can hold a bubble wand and the ropes of a swing. Individual hands can pick peas and together, those hands can hold an apple or a peach to enjoy. Before you know it, those hands are playing sports, doing chores, involved in video games, playing music, and driving a car. All too soon, they're accepting a diploma and packing bags to begin adult life. The hands that once grasped, grasped your finger now do the work of the world and sometimes produce their own babies who start the entire process all over again. Those beautiful hands of infants now become the magnificent hands of age. They may not work as well, but they have the wisdom of the ages stored within them. At some point, we will want nothing but to hold those hands one more time. People rarely take selfies of themselves with the dying, but often take pictures of their hands together. Those photos hold the stories of a lifetime. In the beginning and in the end, we grasp the fingers that love us. Sometimes they are not the same fingers on each end, and that's okay. Sometimes, instead of a hand at the end, it's a paw. For some, it's both. Take a moment and look at your hands. They are the story of your life. Live it well. My name is the Reverend Kathy Crosby, and there you have it, short and sweet.